Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a product review for you guys on one of my all-time favorite foundation brands and it is super affordable. Um, I honestly, let me just check. I think it is made, oh, it's made in Italy. Okay, I was gonna say, I knew it was overseas, but I get all of it on lookfantastic.com, which I will list down below for you. Um, and I just wanted to give you a quick overview. I'm not going to put any of it on my face today because I'm trying out a new foundation, um, which I don't know if I'm loving, but we will see. Um, so anyways, let's just get right into it. Um, I bought one of everything from the line, that except for the mineral loose powder because I have a hundred of those and I don't need another one. But anyways, so it is the EX1 Invisaware Foundation. Um, I didn't even know that they had an entire line of products, but they do. So I went, and you guys know this is like my all-time favorite foundation. Um, it does give, I would say, sheer to medium coverage, very, very buildable. But I just love the finish it gives me. It's almost demi matte, but this particular brand is formulated for all of skin, to skin tones. So all the products, I would say besides the blush, is all for all of skin tones. So any of you girls or guys that have an olive under skin undertone in your skin and have been having a hard time finding a foundation that matches perfectly for you I highly recommend trying this out um, so once I fell in love with the foundation I wanted to buy something from the entire line to kind of see like is it just as good as the foundation or am I gonna love it am I gonna hate it so anyways um, I always use F300 they have a hundreds of 500 so there's not that many um, shades I guess you could say so I got 200 um, and 300 so you can see this is a very loved one and I got the 200 which matches me better when I'm not self tanned or anything like that the 300 is good for self tan so if you're like a medium skin tone um, I'm going to say the 100 is probably still too dark for a super pale skin tone unfortunately I would wish that they would have more of a variety than just five shades um, but what you can do um, is mix them together and so I plan to get the 100 400 500 just so I have it in my freelance kit and for me what's been working is the 200 and the 300 so like I said it's sheer to medium buildable coverage you definitely need concealer to give you that extra push of coverage if that's what you're looking for if you're looking for a straight up full coverage foundation this is definitely not for you um, but you could put this on first just to match your skin because like I said all of skin it matches perfect the first time I swatched on my hand I was like I found it I freaking found it I found my holy grail foundation because it matches matched so good so anyways I cannot Highly recommend this enough. The EX1 Invisaware Liquid Foundation is amazing, hands down. Color on point. So then I went ahead and I got the Invisaware. Oh, look at that. It's like a mirror. It's the EX1 Invisaware Compact Powder. Now, I was pretty sad because when I bought it, it was broken but <laughs> so I'm just gonna hold up the pan um, it's basically this I did get in the shade P200 um, so I absolutely adore this powder to set my face it is so creamy like I don't know if you can see that it's so creamy and it blends so nice on the skin this is a very very fine milled good powder um, and not to mention which I should have mentioned with the foundation the foundation is $15.50 a bottle and the shipping I believe if you on that website I don't know where else you can get it but again I will link and write everything down below for you this is $15.50 this is like a drugstore price and it is so good so I think the powder was nine dollars 
um, and it's super fine milled. It's so soft to the touch, and it just blends like a dream, honestly, to set your face. I don't believe that this is a foundation powder. It's more just to set down your face, mattify it, you know, no shine or anything like that, but it's not an actual foundation powder. So I wouldn't use this alone with nothing unless you just want like a sheer, you know, coverage that day this will definitely give it to you but it's so good for setting your foundation so I highly recommend this product as well it is awesome you can throw it in your bag I wish it didn't come broken but I'm not a complainer so I just didn't even bother with that so next I'm gonna go in I got the EX1 and this is the delete concealer anti blemish dark circle corrector so it comes in a pot like this, and I am not a fan of concealers that come in a pot like this, but I'm like, everything else is so good, you know, the color must be, again, on point. So I went on a limb and I bought it, and I think this was like $9 too. The foundation was $15, and everything else was like $9 or $8 um, on the website. So it's, again, you have to buy it because it's an overseas brand, you have to buy it online, but it's definitely worth it. Um, and I know they do like return shipping um, is probably included so if you don't like it you can always return it again so back to the concealer I'm not <laughs> a fan of this at all um, so it just goes to show you that not everything in one line is gonna be your favorite the form I can't even get my finger in right now because my nails are so long but the formula is like if you can see that's like no coverage at all it's not creamy at all it's more greasy texture when you put it on your skin I don't know if you can see it the colors matches very nicely but it doesn't blend out like at all if you can see that at all it doesn't blend out it leaves like lines and stuff like that so the only thing that I will <clears throat> continue to use this for though is to cover up blemishes I would say it's it's okay to cover up blemishes. It definitely covers them. You do have to pack on a little bit more, but it, the color is what I love about it. Um, under the eyes, definitely not for me, unfortunately, but to cover up blemishes, I still will use it. And I also was thinking about maybe taking a spatula and like whipping it up to see if it would come more creamy once like whipped, that like what I do to my best damn lip mask sometimes. So I'm going to try that and give it another shot. I'm not going to completely rule this out, but if I do ever find that it does work once I whip it up or do something like that, I will definitely let you guys know because the color is on point. It's just the formula is a little bit, it's just too thick and sticky for under the eyes. It would crease immediately. When I put it there, I have really dry under eyes, so I automatically knew right away that it wasn't gonna work for me so I washed it off but to cover blemishes it's okay and like I said I will keep you updated if I find a use for it for under the eyes or anything like that and then I got the EX1 blush in pretty in peach and this is again a gorgeous blush it's so 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 pretty it's super peachy um, as you can see it almost looks quite orange on camera but it is like a true through pink 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 blush let me see if I can get a good swatch for you guys oh blush is so hard to swatch but yeah this is a good one can you see that color it's so pretty it's again the camera's picking it up more of a um, true orange but it's definitely a pink peach and just a light a ooh. Oh, I almost dropped it. A light dusting of this on the cheeks is, oh, see back here, you can see a little bit better. It's so gorgeous. I've used this a few times. It's super creamy, like, it's super pigmented, like, one swipe, bah, bada bang, a little bit of, and you are ready to go. It, I'm kind of bummed because it's such a good blush, and it's definitely, like, more of a summer color, and now we are approaching the fall. So, but again, I highly recommend it, all their blush. Um, I'm sure it's the same formula. They have many different colors. I got this in the summer, so I wanted to get like a peachy pink, but I know they have more of a mauve, a nude, and then I think a little bit of a deeper one. Again, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but I am. I'll link everything down below for you. Um, so my overall like review for these products is I would definitely check them out, 
especially the foundation is like hands down freaking awesome and so is the compact powder this is so good like those two together are a match made in heaven I can't say highly enough of them the blush is amazing too the concealer man I'd probably skip that but honestly this brand as a whole is so good so again I would definitely repurchase I will a hundred percent be repurchasing this repurchasing this I'm gonna get the whole line for my freelance kit because it will be super easy for me to match people um, but again I highly recommend the compact powder as well and the blush um, so yeah I just wanted to give you a little quick like review product review I've never done one of these before and I thought it was perfect because that is like my all-time favorite foundation and it was super simple to kind of get like the whole line you know they don't have too many products so Again, you know, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more, like, product review videos like this, definitely let me know because I really did enjoy filming this one for you. Um, I, I got, like, so hyped about this product. I was like, you need to go get it. But, honestly, it is so good. I definitely recommend it. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching wherever you are. Um, I appreciate you all, and I love you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.